Welcome. What's good? Wednesday, November 15th, 2023. Vlog 46. Welcome. What's good? Hey. Awesome. Nice to see you. Nice to see me too. What? Hmm. Okay. So. Uh, whew, a lot of people spoke to me about the vlog last week. Um, <clears throat> when I bared all, if you will. Lovely amount of support, thank you guys and girls, it's really kind of you. Uh, a lot of people said nice things about the song as well, uh, so thank you for that, I'm really happy with that. Um, yeah, so I still haven't decided where, if, or when I'm going or leaving the country. I haven't put that much thought into it. Let's have a little bit of CBD here, hang on. Mm-hmm. But, I've, you know, I've spoken to a few different people. I've, I've started speaking to more friends and... I'm thinking, I've been thinking about it constantly. I'm constantly thinking about what I'm going to do and where I'm going to go. And I don't know. And I figure like, I need to keep making music. That's the bottom line. I have to, I have to, because it's the only thing I've got that I really, that really I'm excited about. It's the only thing I can do that I'm really proud of, uh, to be honest with you. So I need to do that. If nothing else, just for my own sanity, for, to know that I, I do something that I do something well, to know that I have something creative that I can do better than, better than, I don't know, a lot of people, I suppose, or at least that I can express myself, that I have a, something artistic that allows me to express myself, I think that's important, so I'm always going to do that. Um, which means that I'm really thinking, when it comes to where I'm going to go, I should probably stay away from China, as much as it would be nice to go back. I probably shouldn't go there again. I feel like just because I can speak the language and I've been there and I've got friends there, I feel like it doesn't mean I shouldn't go there because then it makes the internet difficult. And if I'm gonna keep making music and keep putting stuff out, I don't wanna be residing in a place where like YouTube is banned, you know? And the, all the streaming sites people use are banned. Um, it's anti-productive. I mean, a part of me thinks that those seven years I was away, if I'd had access to all the internet, I would have kept putting material out and I would have been able to grow a bigger fan base. I would have been able to grow a fan base in China as well because all the social medias would have been connected, but I couldn't do that. Um, so it, it feels like a real shame, especially, it's almost like I left to go to China just randomly. Uh, and the music never stopped being important to me. It was just that the way I was living in England, it wasn't sustainable. Um, and I was starting to get really depressed and that's why I left. Now I'm back and I'm making music again and it's like, God, I love making music. I've got to keep doing this. So yeah, I think wherever I go, it has to be somewhere where I can still put stuff out. <clears throat> I can still put stuff out in China, but I rely on a VPN, plus it's frowned upon. I don't really want to go there and start shooting footage and then putting it out onto the Western world when technically it's very frowned upon, borderline illegal. Um, I don't want to go back in there with the intention of like breaking laws. I feel like that's a that's not a smart move at all. So um, yeah, I should go somewhere else. Uh, still haven't decided where or what. I've looked at a few things, a few different things, and I'm considering a few few things, but nothing is solid enough for me to talk about at this point. I'm afraid. So yeah, that's what it is. It's been nice not working though. Uh, today I woke up and um, you know I, I still woke up, still wake up early. You know I still being productive every day that I should have been working so far. I've got up and I've been productive. I've done some stuff that needs doing. I get to have my phone in my hand. I've spoken to friends who have called me. My phone's been ringing in the days and I've been allowed to answer it and know who's calling and speak to them. I, I even like yesterday I rang up my phone provider, you know, said I think the price has gone up, I think it should be a bit cheaper, and I got that sorted out, you know, I ring the bank up, talk to them, all this stuff I can do in the hours of my normal job. And then this morning I'd done all this stuff, and then 9 a.m. ticked around, and I looked at it, and I'm like, oh, this is where I'd normally be starting. This is the time I would be starting to take phone calls, and my eight and a half hour shift would begin, and I would spend the whole day doing that. Oh, I, know, I feel so glad that I don't have to. I feel so glad that I walked out of there because just soul destroying. Um, well, it's not. It, for, for me, it is. For a lot of people, it's not. A lot of people can do that and it's fine, but how I struggle. I struggle to keep my mentality and I feel more. I just feel better. I feel more like a real human now. I feel like I'm allowed to be myself again. I'm not selling my time to a faceless corporation who's profiting from it, um, <clears throat> which is nice. 
so yeah, it is good, and uh, I've already arranged to see loads of people, I've already caught up with a few friends, it's good, I'm feeling good about it. But yeah, it's not sustainable. I know I need to work out what I'm gonna do, because I can't sustain myself the way I am now. I can, I can last a few months, I can last myself into the new year, probably February, March, but um, by that time I need to know what I'm doing. I need to know if I'm going, and if I'm going, where I'm going, and when I get there, what am I gonna do? So yeah, it's still exciting times. There's still a lot going on. But it's been nice, uh, you know, I finished, I left work, my last day at work was completely dead. I sat on my own on one side, I sat where there's four four seats and it was just me on my own and the rest of the team was away from me. <coughs> uh, so I just kept my head down and got on with my job. Not many people spoke, I spoke to a few people. Um, most people just left, went home without saying anything. It was quite fitting really, I don't know, what did I expect? Um, but I spoke to a few people. There, you know, like I say, there are a lot. There were a lot of people in that office who I really like. A lot of people who are good guys in there, and probably a lot of guys who dislike me for stupid reasons. Uh, so yeah, but it is what it is. It's done. I'm glad. It's over. That chapter's over, and I have the option to go back. You know, I, the bosses were nice. I spoke to the bosses, and and they even said to me, if you you know if you stay, if you end up staying, or you go and come back, you know, come and speak to us again. Uh, so there's options. I haven't burnt any bridges. And I have options if I do come back. I said to them I would consider, but I just wouldn't take the same role. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of, I hope I don't. Because it's nice to have the option, but then I'll also feel like, I mean, imagine I, uh, imagine I just disappear for a bit, or imagine I don't. Imagine I just go back to that job in however many weeks or months, and I go back to that job and say, please take me back because I have nothing else. Then it's like signing over my life. It's like saying I'm done. <laughs> it's like saying I give up on everything else, isn't it? Um, so I can't do that yet. Hopefully never. Hopefully I won't have any to consider it, but um, <clears throat> but it's scary times. You never know. You never know. But it was nice. Uh, and then on the weekend I went to see a friend of mine, one of the guys who I trained with on that job. He invited me over and his, uh, his two daughters and his granddaughter were there and we had dinner together. He cooked a Sunday roast and it was nice. Um, yeah, it was good. It was so, it's nice. It was like a nice kind of family environment, which was kind of sweet. So I like that, and he's a good old boy, so I'm glad that I, if nothing else, from that office job, I made one new friend, and we get along well enough that he'll invite me to his house um, to have dinner with him and his daughters, so that's lovely, I like that. Big him up. <clears throat> but yeah, nothing else has happened, really. Uh, I'm going to Lincoln. I say I'm going to Lincoln tomorrow, uh, I guess today, because breaking that fourth wall. I'm uploading it on a Tuesday. Actually, I should I should be at work now if I still had a job, but I don't. I should still have another three or four hours to work. But no, so I'm getting this done and I'll upload it tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm driving to Lincoln. I'm gonna go and see my friends in Lincoln and hang out with them for the night. And then uh, come back, it'll be good to talk to them. Like I say, I'm just, I'm trying to talk to everyone at the moment about the situation I'm in and just gather people's ideas and just hope that something inspires me to move in a certain direction. And then what else? I'll catch up with another friend on Friday. Uh, a pal rang me up on Saturday, about Saturday. He said he's, there's an event on Saturday and he's asked me if I'll go through and uh, perform something, um, which, which I will. I won't say anything about it here because I don't know any of the details about it really. All I say it's a, it's a skate shop. It's in Peterborough. I think it's in Fengay and it's a skate shop uh, a paint shop and skate shop um, that he's opening, or he's opened. So yeah, I'm gonna go through to that. I'll share a link uh, if he sets something up. I'll set, share a link on socials before it happens. Um, but yeah, and recently as well, I've decided I want to start performing again. I want to start doing some open mics because I've only performed properly once this year. I got I performed one solo set this year, and then I did get up at Willow Fest over two songs with a friend of mine but that was a bad gig just because I don't know it was unpracticed and he was playing guitar and I didn't have to, I should have asked him to slow down basically but instead I didn't want to intrude on his performance so I just tried to keep up and I couldn't so I just started freestyling and it was like fine but it wasn't it wasn't the kind of show I'd wish people had seen you know so that's what I want to do. I want to have the kind of shows that I wish people would see. I want to go to some open mics and just perform a couple of bits and see if I can still perform because it used to be everything. It used to be everything I lived for, literally. It used to be like my drug, uh, getting on stage and 
just performing and holding an audience uh, used to be everything. So yeah, so I want to hear about open mics. I know there's a few, I might go to one, well, maybe I went to one in the Blue Bell in Werriton yesterday. I'm not sure because this is uploaded on Wednesday. So maybe yesterday I was at the Blue Bell. I hope I was, I hope I had a good gig. I saw some nice people. But there's one in the Brewery Tap once a month I hear and there's some more dotted around. So yeah, if you know any, if you're going to any, let me know, I want to come. Especially between now and Christmas, I would like to just We've written, I've written 47 songs this year. It'd be nice if uh, I could go and perform a couple of them. Um, might as well, eh? So yeah, keep me in the loop with that. Um, I was gonna start asking for gigs, but do you know what? I should I should be checking that I can still perform before I start asking for gigs and trying to ask for a fee. Let me just run through a few open mics and just make sure I'm still deserving. And if I am, or if I'm not, I'll be honest with you. When I know, I'll tell you. I'll come back and either say, yeah, you should pay me, or I'm not as good as I was. Or maybe I'll say I'm not as good as I was, but you should still pay me just for nostalgia. We'll see. All right. Take care, be good. Thank you. Big love. <laughs>